I mean, everyone thinks their breed is the best. And I mean, come on, let's of face course, it, all dogs, course. all dogs are great. But what what makes this breed, what makes the Boston Terrier such a terrific companion and a, as a pet and as a family member? Well, I think that it's mostly because they're so loving and they give you so much affection and it's it's like they're one of the family. And I'm sure you can say this with most breeds. You really can. But let's face it, they're pretty cute to look at too. And I know that there's lots of people who, you know, love chihuahuas or they love cocker spaniels and that's tr I love all of them. I love all dogs, but I can't handle all. I, one breed keeps me pretty busy. Lou, tell me about the Southern Nevada Boston Terrier Rescue. Well, I moved here with my husband in 01 and immediately found a group that was interested in starting like a little club of Boston Terrier. We all were interested or had Bostons and so it sort of grew from there. One of the women who started it did rescue and after I had been involved for a while I started doing fostering and rescue too. At that time there were like five or six of us that fostered and did rescue and as you can probably picture once the recession started people had to start giving up their dogs and then we were getting lots of them lots of them at any given moment I might have in addition to my own dogs I might have three or more rescues at one time I had a total of eight counting my own dogs so we get more people that want to adopt than we get dogs actually probably four or five times as many. And so at any given time, we have people wishing for dogs so we can place them in what we think is the, the right spot. I just, I just placed a dog about 10 days ago and they're so thrilled with him, they think he's the best dog in the world. What, what is needed to adopt or to foster a dog, Lou? Well, first of all, you have to sign a contract with a rescue because we are official nonprofit business with the IRS and with the state of Nevada and we have certain protocols that we have to follow but the main ones are we have to make sure it's a safe home and the people have to sign a contract agreeing to take care of the dog with illness and, and you know good food and we go do home checks and we're not looking for a house beautiful but we're looking for safety Sometimes people don't realize that there might be a hole in the fence or a gap under the gate or something. Anyway, we just want a place where the dog will be loved and be safe. And it, it's um, obviously you want to get these, these beautiful animals placed in an adoptive process, but sometimes fostering is, is something like is something that only people can do. What's, what's the difference? Tell me why a person maybe is just able to foster a pooch sometimes? Well, most people who foster, first of all, they already know Bostons and maybe have some, but they are interested in helping, but they're not sure that they're ready to adopt. But what sometimes happens is after they foster a dog for a week or a month, they fall in love and then they want to adopt it. This happens, we call that a foster failure. This happens more than you can imagine. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's amazing how these little dogs, they, they get under your skin and you just can't, can't resist them. So you've been going for 14 or 15 years and you're a young woman, you're gonna do this for another 20 or 50 years? I hope I live that long. <laughs> Give us a final message of people that are watching this, what they could do to help your organization or help any, any rescue organization. Well, in, we in live exclusively on donations. And anybody who adopts a dog, we request a donation, depending on the age and the condition of the dog. Uh, a puppy might be $400. Most people would love to have a puppy. An older dog, it might be 150. I mean, you know, let's face it, they won't have as much time with their dog. But the thing that we would appreciate the most is understanding that we do survive on donations. And I have friends who have donated, and as a matter of fact, somebody who adopted a dog from me last summer just sent a gen generous donation because he says we, he appreciates what we do so much. And it makes you realize that what we're doing is important because these little dogs all need a loving home. Of course, you can say the same thing about the ones in the shelter down at Lead Animal Foundation, the Henderson Shelter. I'd just like to let my message be, please, please, if you're considering a pet, consider adopting a rescue that needs a home. 
Doesn't have to be a Boston Terrier. There's wonderful, wonderful dogs out there that need homes. That's my message.